continuing today's theme of strong and interesting flavours, my next guest is an old friend who's going to introduce us to a traditional Indian dish. Hello, Manju. Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm OK. Long time no see. I know. It's been, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has. Now, I was looking over at this here. I'm going to bring this over, this yeah. pie. Yes, pie. It is a pie. Well, visually, it looks like a pie, but this yeah. is actually, would you believe, a biryani. That's not a biryani. That's it a is. pie. No, it's not That's pie. It's got a lid on it. It's got a lid because it's known as a dumpakt pie. Dum means steam yeah. and pakt means choking. And the pie lid is made out of dough to choke the steam to cook what's inside it. So that's a traditional biryani yeah. inside there. Biryani is a dish cooked with rice, meat or vegetables. OK. And the meat or vegetables are cooked separately, the rice is cooked separately, and the two are combined. That's a biryani. So it's a biryani pie? No, it's not. Because... That's all I'm trying to hear. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to hear. Pie. Um, you see, it's, well, it's like yeah, a pie, it isn't it? Yeah, it is a pie. Generally, you're not meant to eat the pie crust. Yeah. Uh, it's discarded. I went to a restaurant in Delhi, and I started eating the crust of the biryani, and they started laughing at me, saying, you're not meant to eat it, although it's edible. Manju is going to show me how to make her traditional dish. It's the closest thing to a pie in all of India. Now, you're going to show us how to make this. Yes, I am. So yeah, come and join me. Now, this is, is your kitchen. If you need yeah, anything, okay. if you need to, any utensils, you want me to right. do anything, let me know. As I said, a biryani is made out of rice and vegetables, okay. and most biryanis around the world are made with basmati rice. Basmati. And I've got some basmati in here. What did you say, then? Basmati. Basmati. Mati, ma. Ma. Yeah. OK. <laughs> is it going to be a Hindi lesson as well? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, you can rinse the rice grains, but bearing in mind that rice starts to cook once you add the water to it. Right. So I'm letting that simmer for eight to ten minutes. You want to partially cook it. This is my little spice tin. I'm making the garam masala from scratch, so we're going to spice our meat. Into a hot pan goes cumin seeds, coriander seeds, some green cardamoms, bay leaves, and some cloves. They're beginning to toast. Yeah, yeah. Quite nicely. Can you smell it? Oh, yeah, you can. That's fantastic. Yeah, you know the overwhelming it. smell I get from that? It's cumin. Because it's, it's, it's got a bit of a kick on it, isn't yes, it? Yes, it has. It's that kind of Indian smell. Yeah. And once they cool down, they turn brittle. Blend the spices into a fine powder. Can you smell it? Wow. Just... Manju is making a marinade, adding a homemade garam masala to natural yoghurt. With some root ginger and crushed garlic. Now, you can use chicken um, or vegetables, but predominantly, biryanis are made with meat or mutton. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's, or that's... goat's meat. Yeah. Now, that's what, what I would consider a biryani. Then a dash of lemon juice, olive oil and salt. The smell is incredible. You like it? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's great. Interesting what you're yeah. doing with the chilli now. Yeah. You, do you use the whole seeds? Yes, I do, because the heat of the chilli is contained in the vein of the chilli, not the seeds. I know that. Ooh. Yes, I know. I'm impressed. <laughs> um, but... So it doesn't matter if you keep the seeds in. OK. And it's oh. too fiddly anyway. So, yeah, I'm just chopping a couple of chilies. Do this. I'm not very good at chopping, but anyway. Okay. okay, yeah, that's fine. And just throw those Straight in there. In. Yeah. Two to three chilies. Okay. Depends on how hot the chilies are. Right. And how hot you like your biryani. Well, yeah, okay. I like it. I like I don't mind a bit of heat. That's fine. Yeah, good. It's, this is going to be really potent. So you throw in the meat. Yeah. And I use sort of lamb chunks. And then you store this, the meat, in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. And then it ends up like this. It does smell incredible. Yeah. You just want uh, the meat to soak all the flavours up mm -hmm. and the lemon juice is there to kind of break down the protein. Yeah. So it acts as a tenderizer. OK, OK. So what I'm doing here is I'm heating my pan and adding my oil. And I was wondering if you could help me out with the, making the dough for the lid. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah OK. <laughs> I knew, I knew I was yeah. going to get dragged into this. OK. Is this it's the flour dragon. here? Yeah. I'm using whole wheat flour or chapati flour or atta. <laughs> Simply mix the flour with water. You don't need to season, as this dough will act as a lid for the biryani and won't be eaten. What I've done is I've heated some oil up 
and I've added uh, the marinating meat into the pan. This, uh, the smell of that, I can't wait to smell that cooking. Now, I think I've made a pretty, um, pretty good dough. See? Yes, that is impressive, actually. Okay. Right, what I'd like you to do is cut it in half, or just break it in half. Yeah. And I'd like you to make a little sausage out of it. Not a little one, a large sausage-shaped one. Sausage or full? To fit the circumference. Ah, got you. Of... You're lying in. Yeah. OK, I'll do that now. I'll just get that ready while I'm frying the meat. OK, so right. that's uh, reducing yep. considerably. Right, I think it's time to assemble. OK. What I'm going to do before I've fried some onions, mm -hmm. so half of that goes in there. So that becomes this meat base or the sauce. OK. Right, let's uh, assemble. OK, what do you want me to do? Uh, what I'd like you to do is bring this here. Yep. And what we're going to do is we're going to layer it. I've got you some... layer it inside there. Yes. Okay. First start with the meat. Then spread over the partially cooked rice, oven roasted cashew nuts, some fried onions and repeat. Finally, Manju's finishing touch. Milk infused with saffron and chopped mint. Nice, generous the layer. Smell. That's it. Right, quickly seal the dough. I'll clear this out. You please. want to put the dough around the outside? Yes, please. So if I sort of do that, I'll help you. seal it to the top. Yeah. And then I want you to roll out the dough. This is my rolling that's pin. That's a toothpick. <laughs> that, that's not a rolling pin. It is a rolling pin. It's my mum's rolling pin. You're being okay. rude oh, about my mum's. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mum. OK. <laughs> OK, roll it out uh, to uh, sort of uh, fit the top of the uh, lid. Done. Uh, a little... Is it quite thin? You don't want it too thick. It's the Mickey now. Not, really? Like, that's that's really? fine. Go for it. Yeah. OK. Because it's going to stick, you see. Do you want, do you want some careful. water on that to make it stick? Or are you just going to no, chuck no, it No, no, I don't want it to stick. And then just place it on the top, see? like so. All right, you do all your business, then. OK. It is like making a pie. OK, it's a biryani pie. Then, stick it on the hob. Straight on there? Yeah. This recipe can be made in any pie dish and finished off in the oven. That's going to take how long now? About 20 to 25 minutes on a hob. OK, 25 minutes. That'll be cooked and we'll get a chance to eat that later. Yeah. I can't wait. 